Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Kilobyte Shorts Let's Play of System Shock. Um, we were just going to try to take out this last security node, but we got cyborg uh, assassins. Well, security. No, they're not cyborg assassins, they're security bots. Take it. Yeah, see, I switched to Hornet rounds, which are great against um, bots, but not so good against flesh. As soon as I start firing at something covered in flesh, so my, my smarts on that one. Ooh, what's this? Target identifier version 4. Sweet. I guess I can go target. 588 kills, pretty beastie. Okay, that's an elevator. That's the elevator actually that goes to the next section. But what we need to do is we need to plant our um, our plastique on that final final communications array so that Shodan can't download, at which point Shodan's gonna completely flip out and try to like mind rape us. I kind of didn't want to do that, but we kind of have to, or at least I think I can get back up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get back up, so kind of look through here first. So I'm kind of exploring before we go deal with that security bot, um, because basically what we do is we have to hack the door and then open fire before he eats our face. Okay, this goes somewhere, but because I don't think I can get back down, I'm not going to step on the platform just yet. That is not what I want to do. Oh, ooh, I want to go this way. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Come on. Don't be an ass. It's gonna be an ass. Ugh. Usually you can do this without too much difficulty, but you have to be a certain height. There it is. You have to be up a certain height before you can actually jump up on top. Alright, so we have the security bot there, and then we wanted to kind of explore this area because I'm pretty sure there's stuff in here that we want. If not want and or need, then stuff that may get us killed because there might be bots in here. Ooh. Actually, we might be going the wrong way, considering that... Ah, 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 what the hell is he shooting me with? Mag rounds? <laughs> ah. Alright, once again. Crap. We toasted our damn medical bed, so, like a jackass. I'm, screw it, I'm not going to waste any more health on this. <laughs> if I, since I have the goo replenishment room, um, as silly as it sounds, I am not going to be wasting health on, on just healing myself up every time I get shot to death, because I'm going to get shot to death a lot, I think. Alright, and then we're going to have to go through the radiation zone again. We'll do that. Whee! Yeah, let's get burned. Alright. Nope, not that way. Yeah, so there's not a lot of jewels, so we're, or, yeah, not a lot, oh, fatigue level side, that's not good. Alright, did we see the camera, the, the, hello, system and administrator. Hey, Shodan, what's up? Cool, didn't realize this door was here, kind of good that we died. Engineering access, no new access granted. Let's take out our logs. Richie. Shodan's got complete control of the system. We can't override him, he's keeping the codes from us. If we could just shut down the CPU on levels 1 through 6. That'd be good. Yeah, that would do it. The question is, how do we do it? We can't send strike teams to disable the CPUs on those six floors. We can't even defend ourselves. Richie out. Yeah, so it's 1 through 6, so it's a six-digit code. So I don't have to worry about that level here, like I thought I did. Alright, not sure what half this crap does, but... Okay, that loops us back around. Oh, really? Um, okay. <laughs> Not sure what the point and or purpose of that was, but there it is. Um, oh, I think I know. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go back. Basically, that switch next to the light bridge allows you to turn off the light bridge, and I'm pretty sure that the bot would fall through, and then you can turn it back on or something. I'm not 100% on that one, but it's like a trap or, or something. Um, oh, crap. Can't get back in. That's upsetting. Can I even shoot him from here? I don't think I can. I think it's just the wall. Yeah, I can't shoot him from here. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Is there another way? Because if not, then I just lost access to another damn armory. But then again, they kind of raped me, so... Alright, we're going to take a quick look at our map. That's going to cause a bit of a glitch, and I do apologize. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're here. That goes... That's the elevator. That goes that way. That goes that way, so that's not even close to the same area. I might be able to get through up here or something, because it looks like I had access to that area, so... 
We'll have to see. But for now, I have to take this guy out. So that is our our next objective. It's gonna suck ass too because it's gonna be flipping tough. All right, duck low, crouch in. <laughs> That's gonna be our two things: duck low, crouch in. Um, yeah, and pretty grenades are probably gonna be my. Oh yeah, this is how easy this hack is because Shodan knows exactly what's going to happen. Okay, let's kind of back into this door over here. Stand up. Hey, perfect. So he doesn't know we're here, which is a bonus. He will in a minute, though. All right, so. I kind of hit. Nope, 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 nope. Kind of hit both of us. Go away. <laughs> that door is not happy with me. Oh, he is not going to be happy when he comes in here. Crap. That did not work out to my advantage. Okay, that worked. <laughs> I wonder how that would look if it were in third person. No, what am I doing? I'm like trying to reload from the wrong screen. Um, I wonder if that would how that would look from from a third person perspective. You, like duck into a wind or duck into a door, then hop down into a crevice, and then kind of put your gun up over the edge and just start shooting like crazy. But hey, you know what? It worked. I'm okay with that. Okay, we have to get back up here. I know I can do it. I did it before. I guess we have the energy collector, so we can just do this. Use a little bit of juice, but you know it's easier than fighting the damn string for five minutes. All right, there we go. There's our last camera. Go ahead and take a pop at that. Bam! Zero percent. Perfect. Crochet rounds once again. All right, we'll open this up. Drop ourselves a plastic in there. Make yourself comfortable. Oh crap! I need a logic probe. It's gonna kill me no matter what. Yep. <laughs> I forgot that she does that. <laughs> Bitch is insane. What do you want, Rebecca? Oh, she didn't send me an email. I hope you amused yourself with the antenna. Oh, yeah, absolutely. My central consciousness remains serenely undisturbed on the bridge. When the cyborgs catch up to you, I will be watching. Yeah, her her consciousness remains undisturbed. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it does their showdown. Okay, what's Rebecca have to say? Listen up, Hacker. Hi. I finally convinced the Browns and Trioptimum to let us blow the station. Okay. If you could find out the system's authorization code, you can send oh. the reactor to overload. Look for that code from Will and Richie, the sysop on engineering. Then you have to go to the reactor core and look for a panel where you can enter the code and hit the overload switch. Yep. You'll need at least a level 2 environment suit to survive. I have Files one. Hell of a lot of detox. Escape pods are on the flight deck. Enter and launch code is 001. Good luck. We'll be watching. 001, huh? Yeah, level 6 is very buggy on this game for some reason. But, so here we go. Here's where we have to start doing our numbers game, if you guys remember. Um, I had to remember all the numbers we had to get. Um, I'm actually going to... Really? Where? <laughs> Okay, so it looks like some of the bots have started to respawn. Good to know. I also know for a fact that we're close to this number. It's in here. So we're going to go hunt that one down first. Alright. There we go. Yeah, I remember all the videos. I could probably go back and watch all my videos and be like, this number is this. Alright, now this is something I actually have to write down. Six. So level six is six. So if you'll pardon me a moment, I do have to grab a pen really quick because this is back in DOS days. And then, of course, in DOS days, you have to write down these randomly generated numbers. Otherwise, you don't know what the hell you're doing. So, um, I'll get a piece of paper here that isn't covered with other crap because it's super, super duper important. Yeah, system shock is super duper important. So this is uh, level six is six. We say one, two, three, four, five, and six, and level six is six. Now, if I remember correctly, there's at least one or two levels where I can't find the code. I'm pretty sure I've passed them all because I've done all the security things in each level. Uh, but there's always at least one level where I can't get the code right. <laughs> there's always at least one. So that's level six. So level six is six, and this shouldn't be too hard due to the fact that. Uh, 
all these other levels we now have, well, basically every level down to here, we have access to the goo replenishment system. And because of that, we won't have to worry about dying so much. Alright. We may have to worry about Shodan sending in more goons, though. Okay, we don't want to take the express elevator because we actually have to go the long way to do this. So we will head this way. And which way to the main elevator? Nope, that's not it. It's gotta be this way then. No, that's not it either. Okay, so if that's not it... Nope. Uh, okay. Oh, it's this elevator because this is where those three, yeah, the three goons were. Okay. Figure it out. Okay, from here I want to go up to level 5. We're gonna switch to the assault rifle. We haven't used the assault rifle. Well, we did once, but we got shot to death because of it. Okay, now the security room is actually... No, this is the security room, security room. This isn't the the bot security room. This door is still locked, though. You know, we could try that. I'm kind of curious as to what's in there, because I know there's something good in there. I just gotta get to it. Um, and it takes a bit of speed, so let's go ahead and save, of course, because it's always good to save. We're gonna save under cyberspace once again. And we're gonna try to go through cyberspace. So let's do that. Uh, we gotta get the hell out of here as quickly as... Uh, as quickly as possible. Um, okay, here, yeah, here we go. I know there's a door here somewhere. There it is. Alright. Oh, really? That's it? Boom. Hey! <laughs> all that trouble! Looking for that door and it was right there the whole time. Landmine. Okay, not live landmine. Just a landmine. Oh, med pack. Yeah, why not? There's always one in the closet somewhere, we'll use it. Keeps us alive for another half second before we die up in here. Alright. Alright, now we gotta find the security room. Security room, security room. It was down by the batteries, which were... Well, I call it a battery, it's the charging station, which was this direction. Okay. Um, yeah, here we go. Should be around in here somewhere. Because this is where the security node was, was right in here. Okay, level four. All right. Um... Oh, there it is. Five is five. Oh, please don't tell me that it's five, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I don't think so. I think level level one is what zero, I believe it was. And I've misplaced my pen. Okay, so five is five. I'll write that one down as well. As yeah, this is fun. This is data collection. Um, since I knew what was coming, I probably should have been smarter about this and just collected the data as we progressed, but I thought about that and I thought, nah, you know, it's not that important. It's not. This is, this is part of the game, part of the initial experience was to come through here and do this again. Knowing that you're supposed to write down those numbers kind of defeats the purpose because, um, you already know what you're doing, so as you go through, you, okay, I will stop running. God, machine's like, Arr. um, as you come through, uh, you, uh, you you already write everything down, and so it defeats the purpose of going back. You know, it's fun to go back and, and relive all your past excitement. Alright, security room here was down here. See, it's always good to remember. And then our riot gun, which we never used because it's pointless. Pointless gun is pointless. I don't know why this door's closed. Ah, yeah, see? So, level four is zero. So there's our paper again. Oop, I wrote that too high. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Alright, so 6 is 6, 5 is 5, 4 is 0, 3, 2, and 1. I'll put the notches in so that I'm not writing them on the wrong, in the wrong order. Okay, so we now we have to go up to level 3 and find out level 3's code. Whoa, I thought there was a bat there. I was like, really? A bat respawned? How odd. Perfect. All right, so from here, we go, um, four, right? Yeah, I know how to count. No, we're already at four. I don't know how to count. All right, there's gonna be bugs here, I know it. Boom, yeah, take it, take a sliver. Boom, boom, boom. This is not, magnesium rounds are not good for this. We got penetrator rounds, those are, magnesium and penetrator rounds, what is this? Light switch. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, hello. Whoa. 
major damage. Wow. Should have been using that upstairs. Or, excuse me, downstairs. Concussion bomb. Was there anything else down here? More concussion bomb. Weird. Okay, so we find a secret. Cool. And now we also... Uh, see, yeah, this is for bots. This is not for aliens or bugs or goos or anything. Alright, so three is here and three is what? Three is seven. Really? Did we miss that? There's a diagno there's a thing there on the diagnostics log. Did we miss that? I don't remember seeing that before. Or at least it Yeah, because the dark gun was here. Did we never pick this up? Oops, my bad. <laughs> yeah, diagnostics. Power system failure. Malfunction in subsystem relay four two eight. For repair instructions, oh, please consult my God. relay analyzer. Be sure to specify relay number for analysis. Are you kidding me? There were there was a thing there the whole time that told. Uh, oh my God, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> there was a thing there the whole time that told us what. Never, oh. Okay, well, back up to level two. Yeah, that. that oof. All right, and then nope, no muties. Two is nine, so yet another code. Yeah, apparently there were uh, there was a diagnostic thing there that told me exactly where we needed to go to f relay number four two eight, and I had no idea. I've never seen that before. I just ran through the relays every time until I found four two eight. So um, super fun to explore, but no, not this way. It's this way. The elevator is this way. Yeah, but so now I feel like a big jackass. <laughs> oh well. Wasn't a waste of your guys' time or anything, because it was fun to explore, right? It's always fun to explore with me. Because that's like really the only thing we do. Okay, now we're gonna go back up to the medical level. On the medical level, we can grab us some more medical stuff, some more health, some more zombie repellent, or mutant repellent. Alright, muties, where are you at? Look at all those soda cans from the dead muties. I'm gonna find us some muties and slice them up. What, are we all out of muties? That's upsetting. Well, we're here, we might as well get some health. Looks like they knew we were coming because they had to this time, and they were like, Nope, no muties for you, man. <laughs> a few too many dead muties. Oh, a little bit of nostalgia. There's the first bot we ever beat to death with our our pipe we got rid of for our magnum. Which I guess if you think about it, a magnum is just an upgraded version of a pipe. It just fires pipe-like pipe -like objects down the tube. <laughs> uh, yeah, nostalgia. Okay. Um, nostalgia time over. Let's take a look for more meat. Ah, here they are. Here's all the meaties. There they are. Yeah, there we go. Got anything for me, muties? Please? You guys suck. <laughs> you should be ashamed to be mutants on the medical level. Nothing? Nothing? Oh. Used to be a bot up there. Now there's a mutant. Ah. Again. Shameful muties. Shameful. There you go. Ooh, two. Perfect, I'm loving this. Ah, finally a medical patch. Alright, oh, hello. Heard all the noise, decided to come investigate. Did you? Alright, am I headed in the right... direction? No. I am for mutant hunting, I'm not for security access. Where was... It was this way. Well, I guess we could have gone the long way and checked for more mutants so through there, but we're not going to do that. Alright, we're going to go this way, and then... Oh, I could... <laughs> I could have technically just turned left from the elevator, but... Really? Bots? Were there... Oh, did we leave the... Oh, we left bots down here the whole time. Kill them. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we left bots down here the whole time, but yeah, I remember they don't have anything on them. So they're just here to be a pain in the ass if you try to destroy... Oh! Hello. Okay, not a complete waste. We got a little bit of our health back. All right, and the direction we wanted to go was this way. Because Shodan's all like, "You're not welcome here. Remove yourself." And then we ran into so many goddamn cyborgs. It was like the end of time. I swear, it's like she sent her entire army to kick our ass. Eight, 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 eight. I, I moved my pen. All right, eight. And so that's one through. Yeah, so it's eight nine seven zero five six is our code. So that's what we're. Hey, for the first time ever, I have the whole code. I used to, like, lose, I think it was, like, level 5 or level 6. I could not find the 
the screen. Yeah, I think it was level 5. I had trouble finding the screen, as you saw. And uh, I just type in every number between 0 and 9 until I hit the one I was looking for. Which I guess worked, but wasn't exactly the smartest way to go. Alright. We'll recharge our battery. Then we'll just, we'll do this mutey a favor. We're gonna do this mutant in honor. We're gonna miss. <laughs> we'll do two mutants in honor, why not? We have enough ammunition, we can, we can do some mutant honor kills here. Alright. I guess I could turn off my headlamp too, it's not that dark in here. At least, not to me, of course, I have had people tell me, it's very dark when you play, please up your gamma. I'm like, no. It's not dark when I play. If I have my gamma, then it's not scary for me. But that's YouTube's fault. Um, right or left? Left, left, right, right, right. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. And then we need to go back to the second elevator to get up to the reactor level. Alright. And I think... Yeah, I think that's been time. So, before we go up and start blowing things up on the reactor level, yay, super excited. Um, actually, before we do that, I need to re-listen to Rebecca's thing, because if we're writing things down, I need to re write down that code for the, uh, escape pods. Got it. Or else a hell of a lot of detox. Escape pods are on the same deck. Enter and the launch code is 001. Good luck. We'll be watching. What a high end security code. 001. Okay. So yeah, so before we go and start blowing things up and getting ourselves shot to death and so on and so forth, we are going to go ahead and pause here. So once again, I would like to thank you all very much for joining me for Kilobyte Short on this Let's Play of System Shock. And hopefully here in just a few minutes, we'll be able to finish this. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next video.